I'll go ahead and call the meeting to order. Um, let's start with the Pledge of Allegiance. Excuse me. Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Uh, Micah will be joining us in about another 10 minutes or so, so I'm going to jump around uh, the agenda, um, if you don't mind. Uh, can I have a motion on the minutes? Uh, motion to approve the minutes. Uh, second. Any discussion? All in favor? Minutes approved. Then if you don't mind, let's jump down to the discussion on twig science that we we're just having. There's a budget adjustment that's being tabled on twig science. Um, twig science is, is a program that was brought in, I think, a year ago. Uh, it's still being reviewed as to do we want to do this for middle school or not do this for middle school? What's going to be the best um, science program to have? Welcome, Mr. Ambrose. Um, I talked to Christine today. She has not brought this to the ISA committee yet. <clears throat> Uh, she's still waiting for some information and from some discussion as to if this is the best way to go or not. Um, and once she has that determination, she will talk to the ISA committee and then we'll come to the board for whatever she wants to do. All right. So you've worked it out with her. Yeah. Great. Perfect. That's so, so that becomes, so we're taking that one off. We're not going to review that even though it's on the agenda. Right? That's correct. All right. So then let's go to, uh, just for your information, uh, Tom, Micah will be about 15 minutes late, so about 515. Okay. So we're going out of order on the agenda. Okay. Um, so we're going to go through the manifest questions. Next. Okay. Sounds good. Okay. Yeah. All right. Thanks. Yeah. So uh, the first one dealt with um, Envision Math. What is the this math program? Is part of Reveal or Envision? If not, why are we buying another program rather than the ones approved by the um, school board for math? Uh, number world is a mo modified curriculum for special education students. So let me ask the question. So we had approved from Dr. Kennett's coming in that he needed a hundred thousand dollars for special education curriculum. Is this forty-four thousand part of that hundred thousand? That's correct. It is part of that hundred thousand. Yes. Okay, because there's another one I see for another twenty-five thousand. So again, that should be part of it. That's part of that hundred thousand that was already approved, and these are the curriculum building blocks that he's putting in. For the special ed that he didn't have before that he had presented to the board is that my is that a proper understanding yes that's my understanding okay okay that's my understanding too and we're happy to have troy directly email you to follow up just so that it's coming straight from the horse's mouth yeah right because i, I don't want to speak for a, a, a senior level department head and make a mistake so i just try to be careful for transparency that that's my understanding but i have not directly spoken to Troy. okay fair enough yeah uh, the next item is, uh, what is this program? Who is attending? What's the scope of the training? Uh, with what, what is the de desired effect? And so this is John Wartman. Um, so John Wartman is an executive coach. He's working with the administrative team. Um, fortunately, Tom is here. Yep. As I said, that Tom can explain better, but I view the training as understanding my strengths and weaknesses um, to better the team. Also, he provides uh, strategies on how to deal with others based upon their um, strengths and weaknesses. Frankly, I view this work as making the administrative team more cohesive. So, so what what does it really cover? I mean, who who who's going to this? What 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 is this program? Yeah, great question. I'd love to talk about that. So, at this time, you've done some district level training with all the teachers in years prior. But this year, what we focused on with John was the executive level work. So John coaches executive level staff nationally, worldwide, and he's fantastic. And what he does is he comes in and works with teams to help them to understand how to work best with each other and with the staff. But he also teaches them really important strategies for communication, stress management, and the overall executive, the role of being executive, which I, I know both of you know very well. Um, he has uh, provided us with a, a training on a, a, a tremendous amount of topics from uh, interpersonal skills to visioning to working on uh, goals and objectives. Um, it's, he's been fantastic. So I think that the, the, the part that Matt's asking about is there's some money in the, because we paid for some of it with grants, 
right? So it hasn't all yes. just been in the regular budget. Yeah. But I think you're asking for a budget transfer to help with. No. Okay. No, this is just, these are questions that I have yeah. to manifest. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So 23,000 yeah. did come out of the yeah, grant. Like, yeah. But so when you say the executive team, just for my own understanding, that to me, my, when I hear those words, I'm thinking it is the director level SAU staff, the people that run the departments and your building heads. Is that yes. a proper understanding? Thank you. Yeah. So, so I'll tell you exactly who's in the room. Myself, Matt, Angel, Christine DeRocher, and for the camera's sake, just in case someone's watching who doesn't know these people, Christine's the director of teaching learning. She handles um, not only the curriculum, but also all the federal grants for teaching and learning, such as Title I and Title IIA, which is professional mm -hmm. development. Um, Troy Kennett is the uh, our director of student services, aka special education in 504. Gordon attends these meetings as a director level. Um, Matt Angel, the business administrator. All four building principals from uh, each of the buildings. And uh, Bob Dawson, the athletic director. We include him because athletics is kind of a unique district wide. He's kind of got his feet into two, two areas. Diana Rooney. Oh, and Diana Rooney, too, the HR director. Okay. And that, that's what that's what I thought it was. There's an intention sure. though. It's important to know that the first level of training was to get the admins trained, and then the second level of training is to start rolling it out to the team leaders of the buildings, and that's what we're working on for next year. When you say team leaders in the building, who are you defining the that teacher as? Teacher PLC. Each we have the PLC leaders to build their skills around building goal setting and consensus building within the PLCs. It's uh, it's important that we work on transference, right? You and I have talked about this, yep. Tran transference of, of leadership responsibility. <clears throat> and that's one of the goals that we're working on for next year. And so the desired effect here is a more efficient administrative operation that eventually makes its way down to be able to drive the agenda, which is improve student performance. And, and everything is focused on that. But but I think it's also important, um, it's, it's how did you say, say that again? Because there was something I wanted to add just to put a finer point on it. Can you say what you just said one more time? Jim? Probably not. Uh, <laughs> the, so the, the desired effect is to make the district, the administration of the district more effective, moving all the way down through the organization to be able to better deliver student performance for the goals and objectives that we're setting with the curriculum, et cetera. Yeah, and I think that there's, there's I, I just define a point that I wanted to put on it is that there's two types, maybe three types of culture. So when we talk about culture in the organization, there's Culture like um, interpersonal relationships, how we talk to each other, how we communicate, how we handle each other. And then there's also the culture of internal private stress management skills. So when people have solid management skills for themselves, that improves the culture. But the real culture that we're working on, those two things serve the, the, third, the third prong, which is a culture of excellence. And so a culture of excellence is the most important culture to work on. The other parts are things that we need to do to get the culture of excellence. So the, the whole purpose is I just want to make sure people understand that when I say culture, I don't mean like we've done great things. We've got up the best quote one teacher, the best teacher appreciation in seven years this year. Like we're saying to the people that we value them. We're also working on saying we value you and we're going to support you in being successful and improving student achievement. So I just want to make sure that that's all that's all wrapped in there. And John and I talk regularly about those goals. Okay. All right. Uh, the next one is, is training part of the mandated PD training the district must pay for per um, staff agreement? If not, what's the scope of the training and what's the de desired effect? Uh, this is for community leadership and uh, collaboration. So I put in per article 21 of the CD, of the professional staff CBA, I gave a link to the CBA. Um, in school board policy, GCI, uh, the professional staff is eligible for course reimbursement. According to policy GCI, the school board believes the professional staff should grow with and in their profession, keep abreast of sound teaching procedures and trends and broaden their educational horizons. So this is just tuition reimbursement. All right, so that's what I was gonna say. After reading all that, I'm interpreting this as these are two tuition reimbursements for somebody. Yes. For somebody's. Yes. Per their per our commitments to them per the, the staff yes. agreement. Yes, yes. Okay. <clears throat> okay. The next one is what are the languages uh, curriculum covered? For what grades is this on an existing program or is this a new one? If uh, it's a new one, has it gone to ISA? Um, 
yet. And so Voyager Passport 3, uh, the language lab programs and intensive intervention program for students uh, needing more than just uh, fix up strategies. This came from uh, Troy Kennett or Dr. Kennett. Uh, it's also a mod core program for students that are too far behind to engage in the core program. It's, it's used to fill larger gaps in understanding and not just specific skills. So this goes under that umbrella of uh, curriculum. Purpose. So this was the other one I was thinking was about 95. So this is the 65,000 roughly together out of that 100 that you guys will validate that that's, that's a correct understanding. Yeah, and, and for the public, mod core means that students who are low enough in their reading, writing, or mathematics to the point where they can't access the regular curriculum. So we have to modify the core, the regular yep. curriculum, to provide them an opportunity that, to still learn content while learning the skills that they need. And we believe that the CKLA program will do an incredible job of helping with that. Well, that's certainly the intent. That's the intent. Well, the, the intent really is once it gets embedded, is nobody falls below the core. That would be the best. Yeah. yeah. I mean, that's the Cadillac version for sure. Right. Okay. Uh, and I believe the answer goes with the next group or the next picture <laughs> of uh, curriculum. Um, we'll, we'll look at the worst. The first one, it says Wilson Student Notebook. Okay. Yeah. Because it goes with special education. So it's the same answer. So okay, so then that gets us up to eighty thousand of the hundred. So that's what we just if you get there, I'll validate those three with with Dr. Kennett. Get back to me. I, I just think it's good to, to do that. Yeah, um, no, I agree. Work. It's work. I'm yeah. sure we're fine, but yes, <clears throat> I want to check. Okay, uh, what does a noble stand for? Scrubbers. Or what does it mean? Yeah. Okay. Uh, the noble. It, it's a it's a floor scrubber. It's a stand on floor scrubber. Okay. So you'll see it out here in the hallway. It looks like a little personal you know, Zamboni. Yes, like I was going to say it's the it's the hard floor Zamboni. All right, okay. they won't let me drive it. I tried. I don't know why. <laughs> well, as he hobbles in with a with a crutch. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, so this started, started with the um, manifest question. For the <laughs> so this is a lease payment, and this is the final one. Okay. Oh, that's for the Zamboni, the four Zamboni? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, the next one is, I'm going to try to answer this one. Uh, provide a list of the books for the purchase of uh, 7,000. Uh, we heard from the primary grade teachers that they have surplus of books, but striving the need to purchase 7,000 more um, for these grades. Yeah, my concern is we just spent $100,000 for a level classroom. And we just keep on getting more and more and more books. We've got a whole huge room full of excess books. We just heard from the teachers when we were talking about the CKLA. Yeah. I got all these books in my classroom. I don't have any room for them, yeah. but we're continually buying new books. Yeah. So I'm, I'm, I'm trying to understand what's driving. What was the lack that this $7,000 was trying to address? Okay. So this was purchased through Title I, which is a reading and math um, um, program. Um, and it's to uh, teach phonics. Um, and so it requires us to use different curriculum materials um, during the intervention than what's offered in their core um, class. Um, so this is not a classroom book, but rather instructional materials. And then I gave you a link to the invoice. Okay. okay. Uh, the next one is RDE's part of the Envision program. Uh, we purchased the Envision Math curriculum. We should be using their program and not substituting different programs. Please advise um, if this is part of Envision. If not, can you find out uh, why we're not being faithful to Envision curriculum that we purchased instead of moving in some different direction? So um, again, this would be for um, uh, special education as part of the uh, special education curriculum. So the last two would have another 12, so you're up to 92. It basically, the whole 100,000 has been spent. He's doing training this week on a bunch of things. Yeah, so let's, let's use like in these five days as yeah. as possible to get things done. Yeah, well, I mean, that, that's fine. I mean, it was authorized, but I reading this, I didn't know where it went. And I'm, like, I'm glad well, you asked. What's, what's, yeah, what's yeah, going on? Yeah. Okay, so that's it for the manifest questions. Wait, that's it? Yeah, there's like, uh, I don't know, four pages. I'm just kidding. I have a manifest question. Oh, so Jamie usually asks okay, 11 might have to so three more. or four pages is like, you know, yeah. Like, no, I don't know. Yeah, I don't yeah, know. yeah. I thought I had. Okay, so um, again, I'm trying to get used to the, what we call the algorithm, right? 
So oh, what about uh, battle rhythm? Oh right, right. Yeah, 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 yeah. So um, we get the AP check runs typically at least a few days in advance. So on the fifteenth, I got this. We got a small one. I had time to review it. I had time to look over it. Mm -hmm. Right. Then two hours ago, sixty pages of check runs get dropped. Yeah. I'm already here at meetings. Yeah. Is there a reason that we can't get that in a timely fashion? Before these meetings, so that I can take a look at it. This is a this is like a deep frustration for me. No, I I, I don't think there's any malice with it. Yeah. But every time I'm like, oh, I was like, perfect. I had a chance to look at them, and then okay. two hours before, there's sixty pages. Yeah, the initial yeah. one was a small check. Though, yeah, right? I had time yeah. to review it. Right? Okay. Yeah. yeah. So why can't we? Sure. I'm, I'm requesting to get that in a timely fashion. Okay. So that I can review that and I can know what is being spent in the okay. district. Okay. So just know this particular week is a is a year end massive payroll week. Sure, they've been working every day um, until um, last evening to get it done, and they were trying to rush through AP um, this morning. Okay, okay, I can talk to them about delaying that for the next meeting or, and slow down the process. So they, they sent it out today to get it approved, but let's process we'll speed on the process. Yeah, well, I, I was yeah. wondering if, if um, this week is one of the trickiest weeks of the year. It is. But but Jeremiah has asked me about this a couple of times, and I keep telling him that my expectation is that we give them things no less than five days in advance to okay. review it. So if, if I just want to share that for the business office, and it's not, it might just be a habit that we've gotten into. And I'm not, they work really hard over there and I don't want them to perceive this as a criticism, it's a request. Yep. We, we appreciate what they do. We, we're just saying if, if they're going to sign off on it tonight, they need it at least five days. Okay, minutes. right. So then what I'll do is, I had less than two hours. That's impossible. Right. And that is not acceptable. Right. Yeah. And so yeah. what I'll do is I'll have them uh, not issue any manifest after the Friday before meeting. Just like we do with policies, mm -hmm. right? We try not to send you five policies days. five days yeah. Friday. Yeah. If I can't get it to you yeah. by Friday, unless it's an emergency, sure. we just wait. Yeah, yeah. Because I'm willing to take the time. I want to mm -hmm. take the time. That's why we've been elected, right? Yes, to yes. Take the time to do this, to comb over, yes. ask the questions, yes. find the gaps. You know yes. what I mean? Absolutely. Um, make sure that the questions that that people in the community are asking, we have the answers to. Yeah. Right. And yeah. that yeah. arms me with that ability to sure. do that. Yeah. And it helps you to help us. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. <clears throat> So why don't we jump back up and, and hit the IT since we have uh, Gordon here? Well, it was good. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. There was a, there was a particular. Thing. Do you want me to start? Past uh, three weeks have been a little crazy. Um, I guess I'll start at the beginning of the, the story. Um, so I think it was Wednesday or Thursday the week before graduation. Um, had a random power outage at two o'clock in the afternoon. Flew over here, entire computer rack, everything was down. Um, UPC, uh, UPS backups, we got two of them to basically um, each server, each piece of equipment or almost every piece of equipment has dual power supplies. So you can put one into one unit, one into the other. So if one fails, it continues running. Both were offline, both were beeping like crazy, throwing all these arrow lights all over them. I'm like, all right, what's going on? So we powered them down, powered them back up, everything came online. Five minutes later, boom, right down again. What's going on? So we put everything on power strips, tried to divvy it throughout, you know, different circuits in the room. Everything came on, everything was good. I don't know if it was a low battery issue or what, but, um, one seems to be acting normal now. The other one is throwing some errors and showing battery life like half of what it should be. The batteries were replaced summer of 21. So the battery is only two years old. Um, so we've been running on regular generator. I don't know if the generator automatically kicks on what when we lose power but we've been running on the, the generator outlets we lost power the friday before graduation so like two days later and it knocked out the core switch um, what the core switch does is it basically takes all the traffic here 
routes it to all the servers, routes it to the firewall to get out to the network. The other buildings, when they're coming here to access a server, they hit the firewall here, hit the core switch, and that's telling them you know, where to go. So that had gone down that Friday before graduation. I stuck in a old switch that was replaced out probably, it was replaced out before I got here, so before 2019. Um, it's not even a layer three switch that can handle the routing. It's just a normal switch in there just to get us connected and, and running. Um, <clears throat> so that's the, the switch aspect of things. And then I don't know if you're aware, but Friday, this past Friday night, we lost the main server. So I was here all morning, all night, Saturday, restoring everything onto an even older server just so that we could function this week for um, the PD days. Good question. Yeah. If you don't mind me jumping in. So there's three different power events mm -hmm. in, in the course of a week and a half. And at, or, are, or actually, we had one that nothing happened. So what, what do we have for, I mean, they, they make storage protectors, not the strong enough word, but they make systems that, that protect against lightning in the area, different types of so power it's not interruptions. Like a, it's not a power flicker thing, like a power strip. No, 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 it's, it's, a, it's, it's all a freaking like units, music, yeah. The board. In music, we have a, 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 a very big um, power strip that flicks, right? And it's it's different quality. Yeah, it's not like it's not well, like the little strips. I, I there's units that do that. Right? APC yeah. so, I used well, to make So that's why, hey, thanks, that's the Mr. first thing on here. Listen that I have so that those were the initial things that when we oh, lost so, power for the first time both of those went completely offline like that like, so that's what blew out so normally you lose power I could go and unplug it right from the walls and based off your load and the batteries inside will give you you know 40 minutes 50 minutes to properly shut everything down before it goes hard down. thank you folks these didn't do that they both just went boom off so when you say we lost power, you mean from some outside event of, like? Yeah, and, and this particular <clears> one, <throat> I don't think anything happened. So like last Friday, I think a transformer blew at Main Street. Okay. Okay. I think oh, we had so many lightning storms. I'm right yeah, here. A lot of lightning yeah. Yeah. The yeah. lightning yeah. storm okay. was what, what did the so core some, switch. Yeah. Some external events beyond our control occurred. Correct. Yeah. 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 The okay. initial one with the with the UPS system, I don't know. As far as I knew, it was a flicker. They said the whole building flickered for, you know, yeah. a minute, and and then everything was fine. So right and now, was that? That was, I believe, the Tuesday or Wednesday, the week before graduation. So okay. what we barely been? made it through graduation. He he got it all set up, the lint by, and then this whole thing happened Saturday. So I just before we deliberate more about this, I just want you to hear from me. I can't commend Gordon enough. Oh, I, mean, I know. I called Gordon on Saturday three times. Yeah. And the third time well. I said, Gordon, I, I almost <clears> never <throat> do this, but I'm giving you a direct order. You are to take tomorrow off and be with your daughter on Father's Day. You're part yeah. of our family. Yeah. We'll we'll deal with it Monday morning. If yeah. you don't have internet, we'll figure it out. But your daughter has to He's have saying it. it a little calm. He kind of yelled at me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know me. Yeah. So I'm a yeller. No, I, so I, I, some, did, I just wanted to track your event. I was afraid he was going to spend all day here. But yeah, go ahead, Gene. So the sequence was complicated. Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah, but yeah. We, had, we had a number of catastrophic events have taken out key equipment. Yes. And you're going to be presenting to the board, <clears throat> I presume, what it's going to cost to replace this key equipment. Yes. Mm -hmm. You have included in that key equipment, for lack of a better word, a more beefed up protection firewall for an outside event to take our equipment down. No, I mean, the the... The UPS is supposed to handle all that. So that's the thing. These these are like 11 years old. Wait, what's the UPS? It's not so like that's the batteries. So that's the battery. 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 unprotected power system. Thank you. So essentially, you know, I can unplug that from the wall. Everything runs off the batteries. Okay. So this is supposed to stop that. But problem number one is both of those just went kaput. And I don't know why. Is there a um, front end in front of those that can... That can so they divert or block a surge from taking those out? I'm sure there's something you can you can put in in front of those. I just I'm not electrical. I don't know what I'd know. suggest that you you take a look at that also because okay. if if this was lightning related or some other surge related, 
it's not like it's not going to happen again. And, and if yeah. our USBs didn't protect it, then we should we should build some type of a wall in front of them to yeah. protect them so they can protect the equipment. And what's, that's I'm my sorry. concern. Is, what, what's a USB? Just a UPS. 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 Yeah. 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 But, but, I just I just changed the reverse letters. So and it's okay, I'll just add it a B. Well, no, <laughs> hold on. Like this, you're supposed no, to two. The the UPS yeah. isn't supposed to be that. It's supposed to be the battery backup. Not the surge. Right? No, it's no, not no, a surge no. protector. Well, it, it can't for it lack can, of a better term. But right? It's supposed to do surge protection too. Yeah. There's typically so, okay. ports on it that some are surge, some are just standard battery. And, but but um, proved insufficient. How many, right. How many do we have? So in this particular setup, two. So every every server has dual power. So one goes to one, second one goes to the second one. So that way, if one goes down, you know you're still powered. Everything stays on. We have two servers, but we lost both. Okay. And one of them, one of them's throwing error codes. One of them's got, um, you know, saying the battery's half life. The other one, I don't know if it just kind of needed a power down and then a full charge or what, but it's acting normal now. So I've been able to get the room back up half load on to one and then the other half is on the, the street power. I'm just hoping that you know by the next act. time we lose power it doesn't shut off on me. Right. And by it? acting normal you mean you've you've manually cut off power to it to see what happens. Yes. Yeah it is. Yes. Fine. And okay. full you know it's 40 40 percent load on on the unit. You know it's not being over yeah. overpowered. Shows something like 47 minutes of battery life, you know, if I were to unplug it. I'm you sure know. we can get this later. I feel like I need a picture of the system. Yeah. Well, like a visual representation. We can actually show it. I don't know. Show it. Show it. Yeah, we can no, no, I mean, I need it in like well, little, well, like, I want it in little kid hands. terms. Okay. Yeah. You know, so, so I mean, like, like this box does this. Yeah. Oh, in front yeah, of this yeah, box. Yeah, yeah, I need yeah, a piece yeah, of paper. Yeah, the sequence. With, the sequence. You know what I mean? Okay. I just not so right now, but I just have pictures of like the the warnings and stuff. You know, so this UPS does a self test. It refused it and won't do a self test. <laughs> you know, this shows it's at zero percent load either. because I have nothing on it, but it shows battery fifty three percent runtime, ten awesome. hours, fifteen minutes, but there's nothing plugged into it. Right. So, okay. okay. What you what you have on the table is going to end up being much more. Preferred. Yeah, I'm sorry. What you have on the table, what you're considering that you need right now, it's going to be asking for much of something. Your information isn't in the school books directory. Oh, it was the link. Sorry, the links uh, I had sent in an email. Okay. Google Drive. Um, yeah, yeah. So uh, I see ABC, five yes. links. So in the UPS, it should be six different documents. Um, I've priced them all, all exact the same equipment. Um, I think one vendor there's a, a network management card. Um, <clears throat> I don't know what the difference of the two is, so I went with the cheaper one. Um, but one of the quotes had that on it. Um, but the cheapest for two. And a three-year extended warranty, so it would be covered for six years, is sixty-four fifty, six thousand four hundred fifty dollars. That's for one piece of equipment. Or is that all of them. That's for the, the two USP. I do two battery backups. Yes. Okay. So, I, <clears throat> so everything in the in the server racks here get plugged into this unit. Um, to, but you're looking for more than that. Right? And, and then more. there's the core switch that we lost. Right. Right. You and know, it's you an inadequate one. In there now. Right now, I'm I'm running one that you know is basically taxing the firewall because I can't route from it. So all the traffic goes to the firewall, then comes back in. So essentially, it's like if you want to go out this door, you're walking out that door, then walking back in it, and then going back out that. So you you got you a, lot know, a lot of risk to a lot of equipment right now. Something yeah. happens. Yeah. Well, that's yeah. what happens. Is he cobbled them together trying to get this. Yes. Right. Yeah. yeah. But right now we're exposed. We are. So we are. So Gordon, all in all, to get us back to where we need to be. What is the what is the quick math? So we looking at? well, I mean now I haven't even talked to the servers yet. It's not on here, so I don't know what we do about that. But the server is a whole different scenario now after Friday. Um, so sixty four fifty, and then the core switch is core switch was fourteen four. Um, no, that one was too too much. Okay. So I, I want to go. So I, I provided two Sophos switches, uh, quotes, and two Dells. The one from New Era was the best price. I'd rather go Sophos over Dell because we're a Sophos shop. We did all the access points with Sophos. We have our endpoint protection Sophos. Yeah. And um, what feature they're coming out with soon with these switches is what really has me uh, interested. So like right now, if my computer got a virus, 
somebody from Sophos can actually shut my computer, lock it, keep me off the network, completely shut it down. It'll send me a notification saying we've shut down this computer. Here's the problem. Here's what we found. It's awesome. So middle of the night, something you can get caught and they can handle it for me. So what would, what would so, help us is to have, so you, you, I understand why you want Sophos. So I don't have a problem with that. Um, but really, and I don't know if you can get it ready for, and maybe not before the, the board meeting, but just an Excel, Excel that says, here's what I'm recommending. Yeah. And then your storyboard is that these are the reasons okay. why, et cetera. But then there's a, a hard number in front of people in Excel or something. Right. And normally at. I do that. I've been, I've been so tied up with these servers going down yeah. that, you know, I didn't even have half these quotes ready. Matt came to me. He's like, I really need you to get more quotes. So I, I shot off a bunch of emails. You know, but typically we're, we're I, I pushing upwards of 100k with what you've identified, and you still yeah. haven't addressed the server. Well, well, no, not or, 100k. Or front, well, no. the, the switch 16, is a 20, 90, no, 9900, no. so it's yeah, 9900 plus, plus, plus 6, so 16,000. So we'll I thought it was 65,000 for the no, 6,500. 100. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah, 65, 65 and then 9,935. Yeah. Nine nine yeah. And, so and I, I did talk to him about oh, trying to get yeah. an Excel spreadsheet like you, you're talking about. He did not have enough time. No, I get it. No, that's fine. So, we get, so typically I do those staff reports mm -hmm. that so, I share. So you've got the two two of your rebuilding blocks. You, you're up to close to 20 grand, right? So just well, over, just under 6,000, I think. 16, 16. Okay. 16, so 16. Server? You still got to address a server. Right. And then I think you should look into there must be something that you can put in front of those USBs to protect them. Because and it has I, demonstrated not. It, Dan just sufficient. said that, that it is possible to do a whole room surge protector, mm -hmm. yeah. but he said we have to get quotes because he didn't feel comfortable giving. Like, well, I'm, I'm just suggesting that it's expensive. You ought to go and get those quotes. Yeah. Because well, you really can't be down in, in having to pull Herculean efforts and cobble something together, which thank you for doing that. But what you cobble together is still high at risk so our, our mm -hmm. battlements are down if somebody comes in with a howitzer and hits us again yeah we're gonna if, lose we're gonna if, lose everything right That's right now point. right now i'm worried the server that i've got also basically our servers the majority of them they're called virtual servers so all they do is they live on a big server and they're just data files that use memory processing network all off the physical server so they're, they're basically files our servers are files um right now i have all of that environment i restored it all to the server that was in place before the servers that just died so they're older than the ones that right. we've got in there now my fear is if that goes down i've got nothing left now right. to restore you, anything right. to that's what i'm saying you, you haven't know. put enough money on the table to do what you need to do to rebuild this thing <laughs> no and, and i i have a quote i'd have to look for it but when we were building the budget i got I had uh, Dell jump in. They can do this whole um, it's called live optics, and what it does is it watches all the traffic that's hitting the server and how much processing memory, everything that it's using, and they build a new server of their current model or whatever based off of those reports. So I had done that with them during the budget process and had put a server or had put the price in the budget, you know, initially, but then you know we pulled it out. Um, so I have an uh, estimated price on, you know, the new infrastructure so when you, for that. When you talk to the board tonight, me mention that this is a starting point to rebuild the defensive walls. Mm -hmm. And it isn't the end point. There's more research that has to be done and you'll be bringing further. But I think you need to go immediately with the 20 and get your initial defensive lines back up. Yeah. Um, and then you're going to have to you're going to have to supplement that in order to make sure that you're okay because you still got a lot of risk in the system right now. Even <laughs> until you get those purchases, you got massive risk after those purchases. Well, oh, what hold it, on for a second. I think it's the LED person oh. not knowing how to get in. <laughs> Do you want me to help Phyllis for the If you could. Yeah. Does that make sense though, Gordon? People tell us as far as the conversation that we're going to because you're going to bring this to the board. Yeah. Tonight, so, yeah. so my, so my question, lady, with question Jamie was, you know, with it. the risk, like what, what are you talking about risk wise, like security wise, we're at no risk. We have the firewall. No, no, it's about the risk of the system going the down. Yeah. The system system down. Yeah. Going down. So we have another lightning storm the week after you put this new system in. 
and and we lose another twenty grand of brand new equipment. Right. That's the concern. That well, we, we know have. there's warranties built right. in. Right. 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 Extended warranties built into some of the pricing. Right. Some of the stuff is old. That's but the, right. covered, but, but we got to figure out the UPS ultimately, unless it's faulty, should you know something like that happens, it shouldn't even it shouldn't even be on my mind. Okay. Right now, it's on my mind because really of what's been happening. You know. Okay. But essentially, you know, right now, if if we were to have a strike and that equipment went down for good, then I have nothing to even put servers on at this point. So yeah. you're you're telling us your best professional judgment that we buy brand new switches, everything, you know, UPSs, everything we just talked about, mm -hmm. that that system is protected adequately, a brand new system against lightning strikes, whatever. Okay. That's what okay. I mean. So that's you know, what we even said. we had purchased the new backup server back in May or end of mm -hmm. April. I've got that over at the SAU office, thank God, because I don't got some power here right now. Yeah. You know, so luckily that's there. That had all my backups on it. I was able to restore so we've got redundancy. Yeah. yeah. I think I think you gotta move immediately on these things and, and then I think you, you yeah you had your yeah. I need to do this yesterday stuff, and then you got your research to uh, to rebuild today, the but, front end that gives us better protection. So, so yeah. here's, here's one idea, and I'm, I'm open to Steve's feedback. We, we could ask for authorization up to a certain amount, kind of like we did for the band, mm -hmm. and then work with Jamie and Matt to get yeah. it done before year end. Yep. Because yeah, one good that's thing is that we have yep. year end funds available, and we don't have to use the revolving fund to spend that down to do this, or so that we have it in the future for another emergency. Now, so I'm nervous about spending down that revolving fund anymore. Mm -hmm. yeah. And and he he has Gordon has been incredibly conservative and because that's the feedback that he's been given is to be careful. Mm -hmm. What is the if you had to say, hey, authorize I would like you, the board to authorize me up to X amount, what is X? Now are we talking server wise as well? Gordon, yeah. I, I want to know what it would cost. Server server, server, server and something in front of the USB EPS. So you're not including the estimates. Fixing the electrical the... issues in the building. Did he explain that? That oh, yeah, it so went down and then he got it back up again and it went down again because he's worried that there's an electrical <laughs> problem in the in the building. Right. And that's the, the thing we, I have to I haven't been able to get a hold of Dan. Okay. Yeah, that shouldn't um, be a Gordon issue, right? right? That's a no, 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 but no, he's not no, aware of it. What Gordon did was he ran extension cords to other outlets to bypass that. Yeah. So um, we're down there with the extension cords running our internet right now. Yeah, right? With it. I wasn't yeah. aware of that. Yeah, I was because I had spoken to him and I just didn't mm -hmm. want that lost in the shuffle. So, so, so all right, here's soup, the quote. Soup to nuts. Um, it looks like... That's soup to nuts. I'm going to grab pizza. Oh, sorry, sorry. Switch is. <coughs> Where's the total number of this? So what I had quoted in the budget was eighty seven thousand five hundred and what that included was um storage array so it's what houses all the data um two redundant servers oh that one what is that one Oh, you know what? I think this included a backup. Yeah, we need to move on some of these others. So yeah. why don't you go? Why don't we talk to the board? Ask for a hundred thousand dollars, exactly, up to a hundred thousand dollars, and then just work through um, myself and Micah because we're going to have some discussions later tonight. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think that number to, to make sure high. that we're covered. We're, we're not looking to spend extravagantly, but you, you yeah, need to, to. We need to better protect that infrastructure than we were protected because how we were protected proved to be insufficient. I agree. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. And ultimately, it was just that one point of failure that ended up causing a snowball effect. Mm -hmm. You know, the battery backups alone, I mean, that's that's a standard procedure to keep equipment up. You know, you should be able to cut power to the building and everything stays running. That's how they're built to handle. And, and so even, just, here's, a here's a, and just a I know we have to move on, but those battery backups seem to be some of the least expensive parts of this thing. Yeah. Individually. I mean, they're, they're basically just. I mean, could you even we could we consider doubling them up on each one? So my reasoning for that, so I went with the same specs. You know, they basically quoted you know the current model yeah. of today, um, and with what we have plugged into them now is only fifty percent load. Okay. So all it's going to do is you know have a waste of. Of you know, and then especially with new, if we do new servers, I'm going to be pulling out so much equipment out of that that the load's probably going to be okay. 
15 so, just it, even if, yeah, you know, so it should be more than enough you know power to handle but let, let's tell them what the immediate needs are you, you, you're going to spend up to twenty thousand immediately you might need another 80 you're still doing the research so be back in touch but you want authorization because we don't want to stay vulnerable like we are now we, we need yeah. to deal with it in, in out of this year's funds so so i would just the caveat i would add from the amendment is you know the chair of this committee will work with gordon and matt to get it done how's that yeah okay Okay, Matt. Uh, Pending three budget adjustments. Okay. Okay. Um, the there Honda Odyssey sense. minivan. Um, this would be tra transferring uh, thirty-eight thousand dollars for um, a special education minivan. Um, the next one is special education. This would be transferring uh, twenty-five thousand dollars for special education supplies. And then the third thing is the septic system repair, eleven thousand five hundred dollars. Or um, additional repair that we had to do on the end of the uh, which we've already system, spent, which we already spent because yeah. we had to finish that. Okay. The other items I can push off to next year as we were discussing in the facilities committee. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, so I just need if you could approve <clears throat> those three, I'd be cool. So, so let's start with the the Odyssey. So this is a reminder. This is uh, we have additional transportation necessary for special education for out of district next year not fully covered in the budget. The purchase of the van was to take care of that for up to two, potentially three, but at least two students, which is a lot less than we would pay otherwise. So we said as a, a, as a board, go ahead and re pursue this. Uh, it was an up to $54,000 number that was reviewed. Matt's got a $38,000 one uh, here with a Honda and I think 15,000 miles or 20,000 miles or something. I think like it was 29,000 miles. Um, uh, so can I get a motion to approve this one? Motion to approve. Second. Any further discussion? Great job on the team on this, finding it, Dr. Kennett for working this, and you guys for working it and finding it. So thank you. Yeah. Yeah. And Rick Alderman yeah. too, he helped. Yes. And Rick, of course. Yeah. We want to thank Rick. Yeah. <laughs> all right. All in favor? All right. Yeah. The next one, special mm -hmm. educations that Matt just mentioned. For supplies. So this one's not coming out of supply. So the previous one we've seen have been consolidations of many different supply lines going into one supply line. This is saying I need more supplies than I was budgeted to have supplies. Yes. So this 25,000, I've already gone through the numbers. Is this the reason that we have such a big, is this the main reason that we have such a big drop in the unencumbered 20, uh, 50, we had a $57,000 change in one month in unencumbered healthcare. No. Is this part of what's driving no, that? No, this is not. No, this is, uh, these are, well, well, I could, I'd have to kind of get my head wrapped around that question, but it's not related to that. Okay. What this is, is just additional special education costs that um, Dr. Kennan has asked for. Uh, but he's asking you, did you pull the money out of health insurance? This is coming out of health insurance. What is coming from health insurance? And when we got this, when we got the health insurance statement, the health insurance changed. Yes. It was reduced. So we increased oh, no. the encumbrances by $57,000 yes. from last month. Yep. Yes. Is this 25000 which is coming out of health care, part of that $57,000? It is not. No, because I can't make the journal entry until it's approved by this. Um, so there's another 25000 coming out of it. Out of uh, health care. There might be what? changes in elections in health care. But 10 yeah. days left in a year. Yeah, I know. No, I don't know when they happen. They, they do happen. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, but I you got to find out. But the, the, those yeah, are I would like some detail on that because to me, it's not reasonable that I have $57,000 change in one month, which is the last month of the year. We didn't yeah. hire a whole bunch of new people yep. in the last okay. month okay. of the year. People might have had babies and move from regular, from right. single to full family. 57000 right. No, no, I don't hold know. Hold on. I don't know. Well, there's something I didn't want to say in my report. We had a personal change that's included in that number. A personnel change? Yes. Okay. All right, we, we'll get, but this is over and above that, and this is because Dr. Kennedy needs an extra 25,000 supplies, right? Yeah, we're trying to get all the, the kids' supplies and everything that we need. We've got the schedules built for the, the building. We've got like, you know, where people are going to teach, and if we can share supplies, we are, and when we can't share supplies, I've got to duplicate the, the kit. And of course, it's in these different issues. Oh. Dr. Kenny, can you just like super quick, what do you mean by supplies? Just give me a rough yeah. idea. Supply, um, um, supplies is, uh, there's some kids, um, one's called LIPS, uh, one's called D&D, they're math uh, for teaching 
discrete strategy, reading from phonological awareness outside of the curriculum that you purchased. This yep. is for kids who aren't making it in that. Okay. You have sub -sec sub uh, subsections of those skills that they need to be taught. Okay. So we train a bunch of our staff okay. on a ton of different things. Now that we've gotten through building every schedule has been built except for the high school. We've actually mm -hmm. mapped out the schedule to the teachers except for the high school because their schedule's not done yet. Mm -hmm. Now we're lining up with who can share kits, who can't share kits. And that's where we're having to, I, I took a very conservative look when I bought the kits to get through the training. Mm -hmm. but I wanted to see how the schedule was going to play out before I said, I just need 50 kits. Mm -hmm. And I only need 30. You said kit. Need. Is it mainly instructional materials or the actual objects that come? Like what? What are this? Oh, um, what is, there what are, is a kit? Yeah, is there, a kit? Um, kits are workbooks. Uh, they're teaching materials. They are um, some of are charts and graphs that are yeah. like they're footboard type things. Some are manipulatives. For the exactly. Okay. Pieces. So these are all kinds of things. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Including uh, an extra swing for Memorial because we need it for the kids that are coming up. That's yep. like twenty five hundred dollars. <clears throat> so that's where it when he says a swing, it's in a, in a room in yeah, a school yeah, yeah. for motor. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I just didn't want people to think that he was buying a swing. I do not anymore. expect this level of supply costs next year or in the future in this way. What we're going to start doing is building kind of like the curriculum cycle. Yeah. We're going to have to build the same thing for special education so that we can <clears throat> do this over a small period of time and not have to come from such a large fund. Mm -hmm. Before I ask for a motion, it's just if you can get them out after the meetings, we had questions of $92,000 worth of curriculum that's in the manifests, and we're just going to validate that that's part of the $100,000 that the board has yes. to It is. So, it yes. Is. It is. Right. Okay. Yep. Okay. Okay. Um, <clears throat> any further discussion on this? Can I get a motion to accept the uh, $25,000 transfer? Yep. Motion to accept the $25,000 transfer. Second. All in favor? Aye. Thank you. Now, what was the next one? Uh, something system repair for 11,000. We already addressed already that did. in the facilities. We talked about it in the facilities. Okay, so sure. Michael wasn't there. Yeah. They, they had a failure in the septic system. It was underneath the uh, sidewalk. They had to rebuild the back end of it, uh, and it cost $11,500. They want to move that money from one line item to another, pointing out a health insurance. It's already spent. It's the project out there. Yeah. It's already spent. Yeah. Yeah. I got a motion to approve. Motion to approve. Second. Okay, all in favor? All right. <clears throat> then there's three things on the agenda for anybody that's following the agenda. Fire suppression, uh, middle high school fresh water cleaning. We talked about those in the facilities and we did not want to proceed with those yet. We don't have enough information. Matt's going to pro uh, provide extra information. There is money available uh, in the current budget under um, that I pointed out that's under uh, replacement equipment that would be available, uh, but those aren't going to be, we're not going to be asking for questions on those. Okay. Um, the trust fund balances, rather than go through all that data set, we'll catch up on those. I want to provide some public comment um, capability here. Um, so we'll, if, you, if you guys can look at that on your own and just if you have any questions, funnel mm -hmm. it through to, to Matt. Uh, the other thing I wanted to do is I got two sets of motions I want to talk about. Given my coming uh, changes, um, I'm making a motion to vacate the chair. And I'd like a second for that motion. Second. All in favor? With regret. With regret. In favor? Aye. So we I have kind of regret. Not really. <laughs> <laughs> Not really. So we have, we have no chair for the finance committee. So Matt. Okay. Can I take nominations for a chair for the finance committee, please? I'd like to nominate Micah. I okay. second. Okay. And no, I'm not comfortable. I'd like to nominate you. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for your confidence. <laughs> okay. Um, Comments? <clears throat> okay. All in favor? Do, All I, right. vote, do I vote on this? If you are. Yeah, okay. yeah, sure. Okay. All right. Okay. Chair. All right. chair. But before one, just courtesy before please. I go. <clears throat> please, please. Public comment, Dr. Brown, any, any comments for us? Listening to Tom answer a couple of questions. I had so I'm good. Okay. I'm on a listening floor. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's good. We normally don't have public here, so I wanted to make this sure. It's very exciting. It's very exciting for us. Yes, I like it. I can, <laughs> it's, it's, you. You. it's even better than I'm just, than than just normal. Right. I'm just happy okay. I answered the questions. Thank you. Since I have a little bit of time, 
I want to talk about year end really quick. Yes, please. Sure. Okay. And um, believe it or not, I did not put in the fire suppression or any of the other items down at the, the bottom number. I right. noticed that. Okay. Right now I've got um, uh, 763,000. I'm still going to say it's going to be more at the 600,000. Well, if, the, if you do, okay. if the board approves the money for Gordon, that will right. go down by 100,000. Potentially. Potentially. Yeah. What, row, board what row are you in? Yeah. Uh, okay. sorry, 59. 59. 59. 59. Okay. D59. There we go. Okay, so this is the estimated year end that will be returned to the taxpayers. Yes. Okay. Do you think that's going to be a hundred K less? Well, probably based less, on right? but the conversation we just had with Gordon. It, yes. Okay. We're talking roughly. Yeah. yeah, I don't so think it's going to really need 100, but yeah. that, that, that means Gordon and you need to qu move quickly as to what these numbers are. Yeah, yeah. We, yeah. he's working super hard on it. Yeah, he, he will. And, he, and he's doing great. Yeah, yeah. Oh my goodness. So grateful for yeah. you. Yeah, yes. I, I do have to say on Monday morning, it was like nothing happened. Yep. Yeah, place right. ran perfectly Monday. Yeah, yeah. I was happen. watching his emails too, and he was even doing his best to try to keep us updated. I mean, yeah. the guy, yeah, uh, so. I just kept reading him going, oh my goodness, thank you. Just so you know, I didn't honest. really yell out. He was getting yeah, yeah. germs, so I thought the first would be brought in for the allegations. Yes. Yep. Okay. Um, I think we're good. Yeah. That would be my goal. Is that a... You can just adjourn. Oh, you like adjourn. Adjourn. We're adjourning this meeting. Thank you thank very you. much. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Right, I got to talk to Jody. Can you carry my man first? My nurse? All right.